when we're doing limits from graphs, we can just basically follow the pattern of the graph to establish the limit. And we have to be careful of one-sided limits versus two-sided limits. So when I look at, for example, D, it says the limit as x approaches 0. So we're approaching 0. Now this is a two-sided limit, so I have to recognize that I'm approaching it from this side and this side. Well, if that's the case, that means that this is it's not going to the same point from both sides, so we have to say that the limit does not exist. Okay, as a one-sided limit, they exist, but as two-sided limits, it doesn't exist. So for negative two, as x approaches negative two from both sides, it looks like it's approaching infinity this way, it's approaching negative infinity from the other way. So again, this is a two-sided limit. So we have to say that because it's going to two different places, that the limit does not exist. For f, we're approaching negative 2 now just from the negative side. So we're only approaching it from this side. Well, that's going towards negative infinity. So that does exist. So we can say that the limit is negative infinity. For g, we're approaching 2, and it's a two-sided limit. So it's approaching it from this side and approaching it from this side. Now they are approaching the same point, the same y value, and it looks like about 0.4. So we can say that from the left side and right side, they're approaching the same y value of 0.4. So then it has a limit at 0.4. For limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side, this is similar to d, except now we're approaching it just from one side, and we can see that the limit is approaching the y value of 3. So as a one side, the limit exists and is equal to 3. So when we look at f of 4, although the limit does not exist as x approaches 4, Actually, the limit is infinite because it's approaching positive infinity. The value at 4 is different. The value at 4 is actually equal to negative 1. So the actual value is different than the limit. So what act actually happens at 4 is different than the limit at 4. So in this case, if I were to say the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x, well, that from both sides is approaching positive infinity, so the limit would be positive infinity. But the actual value is something totally different, and these two things are not necessarily related to each other.